What's guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're interacting to the 18th episode of To Your Eternity. This one's titled To Continue On. Okay, so uh, today's the day we finish the series. Uh, it's only a 20 episode series, so we're going to do three episodes back to back here, and that will be us fully caught up with the series and completing it. Uh, although not completing it forever, because I think uh, next year was the announcement, right? Uh, that we are getting Season 2 of To Your Eternity. Um... Yes, in fact, it's already confirmed as fall 2022, so uh, we have pretty much exactly a year to wait. So it'll be October next year that this series starts. Um, I don't know if it's going to be uh, just 12 episodes or if it's going to be another similarly odd uh, numbered uh, one like this. I guess it depends on how many arcs they are intending to adapt from the source material. Um, but I guess we'll see what ends up happening with that. I would say I'm excited for the season two, but it's entirely dependent on how this series ends, to be honest, because I I have been somewhat vocal that this um, Janander, Janander arc has not been my favourite arc of the series by far. It's definitely, the, I think, the weakest point of the entire show, and so far, having the finale be your weak point has not been a good thing. Um... And part of why I'm not getting into the show so much, we'll see if that changes over these next three episodes, is that I think it's getting too predictable. Like, it's getting too samey and predictable with this arc, and it's a case of, I don't know if I can start to care for many of these new characters. Like, it, it doesn't help that Tanari has not been a very likable character up until this point, and even though she's kind of had her redemption at this point, and we're meant to be rooting for her now that she's coming back to save Fushi... She's not going to be any help, I, just, I know that right now, she's not going to be any help, and she will die because she's already been shown to have a important trait that will be useful in Fushi's fight against Hayase, which is the drug resistance. Like, we've already kind of established that she has that, and we've blatantly pointed it out now. So we know that's why Fushi will want and find her form useful in the long run, and why the Beho uh, our Beholder Overlord guy... Like, I know he's the Beholder, I don't know anything more about him yet. I feel like that's the bigger mystery I want to look into. Like, why this? Why the Knockers? Rather than going through different people's stories, I would like to start seeing some progress towards that. Because just like how uh, Botchan, the Duke of Death and his maid, uh, is exploring the idea of the curse slowly but surely, but also having its fun slice of life moments with different characters and such, I would like this show to start exploring the knockers and why they're attacking Fushi. Why were we created to combat this threat? And like, is this something we're going to have to do for eternity since we're immortal? Are the knockers also immortal or is there a way to actually conclusively end that threat? Or is this just our life? We're constantly in battle with the knockers with no end in sight. Because I mean, eternity is a big part of this series, obviously. Is this just Fushi's life now for all eternity? That's kind of what I want to see, but so far the Jananda the arc really hasn't gone too far into that. Um, and yeah, Hayase, Hayase is a creepy villain, and I like that. Um, I know some people say she's a bit like one-dimensional, but at the same time, I'm like, well, she was never a super complex villain. She's she's crazy. She's just so obsessed with Fushi that that's what she's doing. She's doing this just to have that immortality and well this 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 is her now she she is just a one-track mind to contain and keep fushi for herself and get something out of it obviously as well though i don't know if she necessarily could she'll, she'll try anything obviously um immortal offspring whatever it is um but yeah, I, I like the way they've depicted her creepiness in that, and especially with the way her movement is at times as well. So yeah, um, somehow though, Fushi decided to reason with Hayase in order to get the kids away from the island, uh, which kind of worked, but also kind of didn't because he got drugged again. Like they're really putting in the whole drug thing. It's like, you need a way to stop being drugged here because you're just going to keep losing as long as you don't have a way to deal with that. The only thing he can do to deal with that is not get hit by it in the first place, which really he should be getting a little better at doing at this point. Like, you've, it's happened enough times, you should know it's coming. Uh, or, currently it's his rock form, but once he goes into his rock form, 
he genuinely cannot change back because he has no conscience in that form. He needs the Beholder to do it, and who knows if the Beholder will always turn him back. Like, if you do it enough times, maybe he just gives up on you. I guess it depends. Um, but yeah, uh, Tanari and the kids are all sent off on the boat um, after being drugged themselves. Tanari wakes up first, obviously, because that's her thing. Uh, and she is uh, heading off on a rowboat back to the island to rescue Fushi, which isn't going to go well, probably, let's be honest. Um, and said to the um, said to the captain to not let the others know, or I can't remember what she said, but they're almost certainly going to follow back as well, and then it's just going to become them all coming back to save Fushi, and predictably they're probably going to die. Let's be real here, they're all dead. I think. Like, Tanaria, maybe one of them survives. I wouldn't be... If one of them survived, I would consider that a surprise, honestly. But I think it's more likely they're all dead. The OP's kind of hinted at that already. I think the big kid and the girl, what was her name? I think they're already basically doomed to die at this point. Tanari looks like she'll probably die as well. Uh, so yeah, Mia and uh, Uroi... Um, I think they're pretty much condemned to die because of um, because of the uh, the OP. Which one would survive? I think if any of them was to survive, it'd be Upa. If they're gonna let any of them survive, it'd be Upa. Tanari, they won't let live because of. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they'd let Tanari live. That would be, that would okay. To be fair, that would be the biggest surprise. If they let Tanari live, that would be the biggest surprise because it'd be the first time we introduce a main character in this show of an arc and they actually survive beyond Fushi's interactions. That would be significant. I guess Parano was the only other one, but they eventually killed her off in the end as well. Um, but I guess we'll see if that's the case. But I'm just expecting everyone to die again and Fushi to be alone and blah blah blah. That It's just what happens. If anything, the best chance of him going away with someone would be uh, Pyoram, more than likely. And saving her, because that was still our intention. Um, we haven't checked up on her in a little bit now, so I'm not quite sure what's happened to her. I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're going to binge these episodes uh, and see... Where the story leaves us as we head off into potential uh, or the confirmed season two next year. So anyway, as per usual, these are time based for my on YouTube. If you want to see the full Patreon page, you can go to my Patreon down description below. Four pounds a month gets you access to all Patreon Patreon access I do on the channel, which is everything from my seasonal lineup, as well as Patreon request shows such as World Trigger, Symphony Gear, and Lock Horizon. Symphony Gear will be following after this long list of shows uh, later uh, today. Uh, it might be a little later than normal, but it will still come out today. I can guarantee you that at the very least. Um, I'm obviously trying to catch up on To Your Eternity here, because if we finish To Your Eternity, it gives me a lot more time to do Sympho Gear episodes uh, for the next month. It means I can easily do double or even triple episodes where possible to uh, like really get into the swing of catching up on that show ready for next season as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, but here on YouTube, we do time base, so bump left of the screen, you'll see a time for the episode. I count down three to one play. Now play the episode, I say episode, and we should be in sync. We have watched this one on Crunchyroll, since they're the ones who license the series, of course. Uh, no logos or anything, we're just going straight into the episode. We'll have the usual recap and then the OP, I believe. Uh, but you can use screen flash on my face, the mic, or this behind my headset to tell when the scenes are transitioning. That should help you sync it up as well. So, with all that said, let's get into uh, the first of this week's episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. There is on the bed. Bird was hit, but quite clearly never died just because it was a grazing shot. Alright, Pierre was released. Okay, I forgot about that. I forgot she was released. I'll be honest. Yep, same trick. And thrown into the well. And OP time. I forgot Pierre was set on the ship with them.
talking about that character yet? I don't remember. I don't think so. That's probably going to be the setup for next arc. Yeah, we saw... I need to look on the left side next time I watch that OP because I think that might have been Upra there as well. Might have condemned all three of them to death. Alright. Here we go. We with Tanari? Yes, we are. Why are you here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm hmm Right. Uh -huh. Oh, they're gonna come here again, I mean... Get back to... yeah. Get, get out of here, I guess. Hmm, weather's not great. Mm-hmm. But now we're stuck here even more. <laughs> if only we had a good swimming form. Thank you, Gugu. Eh, it doesn't matter about which form he's in, he's going to be attacked regardless, but... I mean, they waited four years for one attack, so... Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> he might as well be. Of course, no one's standing of an idea of a god.
Mm-hmm. Well... Yeah. Probably. Does he? For one specific person, maybe. Mm-hmm. That type of environment just breathes that sort of thing. Probably, yeah. Right. Even though it's completely pointless and it served no purpose in the end. <laughs> Which means it won't become like that because, oh boy, nothing is ever allowed to be optimistic in this show. Yep, that's how they are. Down they go to check on nothing. Mm-hmm. 
Townsend Travel. Mm hmm. They're not attacking Vushi, they're attacking the town. Mm hmm. Mm. What about you and all that? Really? That's a good question. Why aren't they coming for us? Hmm. Interesting. Rising from the course. Oh, we got zombies. Hmm. Thank you for doing it creepily, I approve. Oh shit. Oh my god, that's, that's a lot. I think they're just... Hmm. I think the actual knocker is somewhere under all that, creating these. Yeah. Mm hmm They're already dead. Go aim for the core. Interesting that the core's not in the head. Yep, there it is. Never gonna leave you. <laughs> yep, the others are here as well. Yep, of course they are. Of course they arrived. Although it means they arrived in the stormy waters, so... They really got damn risked it then. Unless they followed straight after but never caught up with us, but... Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. There's probably a lot of dead bodies on this island, so it's going to take a while. And again, these feel like just like... They basically feel like ads. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Oh. We're just going to kill one immediately? Oh, we got one immediately, just like that.
they really didn't notice. That was odd. They can't tell. Wow, they couldn't really tell. Okay. Okay, they couldn't tell by the busting veins or the way she's going, run, all that. Okay. Alright, that's two down already. That's two down already. No oh boy. Hmm. Okay, they didn't get to her at least to take the corpse. Nice. For the heartbeat. Six minutes north. It'll be safe for three minutes. Not a lot of time, but. I don't think there's any hanging in there for her. We've got no medicine or anything on this island, really. <sighs> yeah, we have no idea what we're doing here. Uh, we can't go that far. Yeah. Yeah, this one followed. She's already dead. Yeah. Ah, uh, you don't want to know. was, I think you have to say, unfortunately. Don't hesitate. Mm. Yep, just can't do it. Oh, and they, they Go to their nest? What nest? What nest do you want about?
There goes that form. Okay, and now the owl's going to catch us, I'm guessing. Yeah. Is it? What afterlife is there going to be if you're possessed by the knockers, though, right? Lovely. There goes those three. Well, it all rests on whether they kill Snari then, huh? Hmm. Okay. ED time. Well, they at least killed off those three. Now the question is whether Tanari survives. Well, no, there was the other kid as well. But I guess we'll see. I don't actually even remember the other kid's name. But I guess we'll see if they die or not. But yeah, why are the knockers attacking the village rather than going after Fushi directly? It implies they have a greater... It implies they have a greater conscious to them that's able to plan out attacks and have objectives in their mind. So that's interesting. And once again, we lose our most competent fighting form in the first part of the fight, which is annoying, but whatever. Anyway, skipping previews as per usual. Skipping the previews. Um, I guess we haven't lost... No, she is our uh, most... Paranoia is our most competent fighter. Then I... we still got Gugu, at least, I suppose. So that's something, but... Um... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it comes down to whether Tanari lives or not. The other kid was named... Where is the other kid? I don't think I even see them listed here. Sander, there he is. Yeah, he's the other one that's with them. Okay. Couldn't remember his name for the life of me. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really have any emotional impact from those three dying because like, it was kind of obvious they were going to die. I feel like they could have tried... I don't know, it just didn't feel that... Like, Upa being taken by surprise like that is understandable and it's like... Someone would be taken surprised by that because they'd never encountered it before. It made sense. Mia dying to that was a bit unexpected because Upa was visibly turning in front of her. And yet she didn't see it or react to it in any way. And then Uroi kind of just let it happen because he didn't, I guess, didn't want to be without Mia, I suppose. So th their deaths didn't really feel that impactful to me. Maybe it's just my overall... I guess disconnection from this arc maybe that's what's driving it but like it, it just didn't feel that I didn't really feel that much in it of itself but yeah I don't really know what more to say on that to be honest there's, there's not much more I can really say um 
I wonder why they went after the corpses, though. What what could possibly benefit them in that sense? Maybe I'm expecting too much from the knockers, and I'm expecting them to be, have a more complex aim in them, rather than just something that goes around killing indiscriminately. But like the knockers are always present wherever Fushi is. We don't really ever hear of a knocker or like a weird attack elsewhere in the world. We've never really had like something like that happen. Always seems to be in the vicinity of Fushi. I guess to take Fushi's forms because they're in some way more valuable. I don't know. But... I guess we'll see. Hmm. Next episode is titled Wandering Rage. We're going to go straight into it, obviously, like I said, because we're doing the triple episode here. Well, those three being dead was kind of predicted by the OP, right? And if I go back to the OP... I think all three of them are shown as being dead or being taken over in that part of the OP anyway. Let me just see where it was. Because I know two of them were there. I just didn't know if uh, Upa was also shown in that or not. Yeah, Upa is also there. So it's those three that are shown dead. And then it's... Tunari, I believe... Tanari over a fire, eyes bleeding. Which kind of implies that she's probably done for as well, but we'll see. We'll see if that's the case or not by the end of this. I wonder if they're going to update the OP now that those three have died. Actually, now that those three are dead and taken over by knockers, does he actually have their forms? Or does he have to, or do the knockers have their forms and he'll have to kill the knockers, those three knockers himself, in order to get their forms? I feel like he's going to have to kill them himself to get them. Because every other character that's died has not died by knockers directly, right? And been possessed by knockers like this. Every other character that dies just dies and he gets their form in memory of them. These three are currently possessed. And he has to kill them. And then probably get those forms back. He also has to kill the one that Tate, that took his um, Parano form as well. Because he's lost Parano now as well. I'm going to assume there's like one big boss knocker down underneath the ground. That is like creating these zombies essentially that are going around killing. But again, I don't know what the purpose is. I don't know if it's just like... Death and destruction to all the world type enemy, or if there's like an actual grander plan as to why they didn't just go after Fushi himself. Because once again, I feel like if the knockers just attacked Fushi all out, I feel like they'd win like every single time. Like, genuinely, I don't think Fushi versus the knockers, the knockers win every time, I think, in my mind at least, because Fushi just he loses his combat capable form so quickly. Uh, oh well, I guess we'll see what happens next time. So, episode 19, Wandering Rage. Uh, I'm about to go watch that, so thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as usual. Leave a like as well as your comments for the episode uh, as well. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Like I said, we're finishing off this series today, so episode 19 is going to follow straight after this, and now obviously episode 20. Uh, but you can also find the rest of the summer 2021 like you can find here on the channel as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.